are at the Wagner Free Institute of Science in North Philadelphia. So the Wagner Free Institute of Science was founded in 1855 as a free um, place where people could go to get science education and we still do that today. Our founder is William Wagner. He collected specimens of rocks, minerals, fossils, shells throughout his lifetime and his travels as a merchant. And then we have our biological collection as well which contains everything from insects to birds to mammals um, and then we also have a human skeleton as well. So it really shows the whole breadth of the natural world. When William Wagner founded it, a lot of scientific learning was happening in these very elite institutions. And the only people who could go to these institutions to learn about science were white men. Um, and William Wagner created a place because he saw this, um, you know, in his own travels that it was hard to get access to these institutions of higher learning. And he wanted to create a place where everyone could go to get free science education. Women were allowed into lectures here at the Wagner. Immigrants were allowed into lectures at the Wagner. It was really different from a lot of the other science education programs at the time. After he died, a new person took over, and his name was Joseph Leidy, who's very well known throughout Philadelphia for the advancements that he made in paleontology and microscopy and many other different areas of the sciences. All of us here at the Wagner kind of have a crush on Joseph Leidy. If you Google him and see some pictures of him as a young man, he was a pretty good looking in addition to all of the awesome educational things that he did um, throughout his lifetime and all of the um, amazing scientific discoveries that he made as well. The center of our collection is an English draft horse because it was a way to anchor people in something that they knew and recognized. And they can go up to the skeleton and look at the skeleton's attributes and then compare them to other skeletons in the collection to kind of see the relationship between the anatomy of a horse and the anatomy of other animals. We also have a very large bird collection here at the Wagner, which is very exciting to um, birders. They often come here and really love our bird collection. We have um, a bald eagle in our collection. We have lots of local birds, um, many different kinds of hawks that you would actually find locally in Philadelphia. And then we have um, some birds that you wouldn't find here at all. We have a very large rhea, which is similar to an emu. We have some eggs, some bird eggs on display in the museum as well. It's just a really full collection from ornithology. My favorite collection in the museum is our insect collection. Um, I know a lot of people think insects are creepy and crawly and sometimes when you're looking at them it can feel that way. But the thing that I think is really cool about the insects is that they are all hand pinned and hand labeled. So you can actually see the work that was put into creating the drawers of insects here at the museum. Our building is open to visitors Tuesday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We are open some evenings and weekends as well when we have lectures or other programs. So you should definitely check out our website to see when we are going to be open and what free programs we're offering. And by the way, everything that we do, everything, is absolutely free. I'm Kara at the Wagner Free Institute of Science and you're watching Weekend Filler on PHL 17. One of the most interesting things I think about the Wagner is that we have this amazing National Historic Landmark building that I'm standing in and our collection and building have been preserved since the mid-1800s. Our building opened in 1865. It was actually um, constructed during the Civil War and completed right after the Civil War ended. The building's architect was John MacArthur Jr., who also designed City Hall. The Wagner is located um, at the corner of 17th and Montgomery Avenues in North Philadelphia. We're just a couple blocks from Temple University's main campus. On the first floor of our building, we have a lecture hall, which is a really, really beautiful space that we still, um, it's still in use today. And it was designed as an educational space where William Wagner would originally give his lectures and classes. We have um, a great 
jaw of a shark with all of its teeth, a porcupine fish. We have fool's gold, and they can come up and touch the specimens and look at them up close. And one of the really interesting things about the seats is that if you reach down and check the underside of the seat, you will feel some um, wires. And what they actually are is to hold hats. So gentlemen would wear their hats to our lectures and they could just slip them into the metal wires under the seats and um, then they could have them with them but they weren't actually on their heads. We still operate today as a science education institution. So we do free lectures on all different science and history topics. We do classes that are multi-week evening classes. We do school visits and everything we do is free and so we have this wonderful preserved historic building that is amazing to walk into, but we're also still a living, breathing institution that does history.